to use them, we will use primary colors, red, blue, and yellow, and we'll have some fun mixing all different colors to use. And we're gonna try and paint it similar to the style that she did it, so that we're staying inside of each shape with a different color. Just gonna have some fun making some colors and painting and see where it takes us. So when we paint these projects, we are going to be using a lot of colors. Um, and you guys are gonna have the ability to mix any colors that you would like to use. You can decide if you wanna limit your colors and just use the cool colors or the warm colors, you can do that, or you can use all of the colors. We've talked about primary colors, secondary colors, tertiary colors. You can have fun trying to mix all of those different colors as well. You might wanna keep a color wheel next to you so you can sort of refer back to that to help remind you how to mix the different colors. We will, those of us at school, will be using these ice cube trays and in them you'll see you're already gonna have some colors to start with. And then if you like, you can go into these different containers here and you can mix more colors by mixing some of these colors together. I do want you guys to make sure though that you are being careful and washing and drying your brush and not getting all the colors mixed up because all of the fifth grade classes are going to be using these for the next couple of weeks. So as we're painting, I want you guys to take care with your work and like Sonia Delaunay did, I'm gonna want you to put solid colors inside each of these shapes. Each enclosed area is its own shape. Not the big circle out over here, but all of these lines have now created multiple shapes inside of that big shape. So as we color, I'm gonna want you guys to pay attention. Remember, hold your brush down towards the bottom. You have more control that way. You wanna choose the brush size that's appropriate for what you're painting. This shape is small, so I'm using a small brush for it. I might even want a smaller one. And then I can take this color, I do like this, um, it's like a pinkish magenta color, and I can use it in multiple places at one time. And then when I'm ready to change my color, I wanna make sure that I wash and dry my brush. But see how I'm staying inside those lines. I'm not crossing that line. I'm not painting that whole circle one color and that whole circle one color. I'm being really careful to wash and dry my brushes. Now, if I wanted to make a different color inside here, maybe I wanna make some orange. Remember for orange, we use yellow and red, those two primary colors, and we use more yellow and just a drop of red because the red is so much stronger than the yellow. Look at that, that's actually a, more like a red orange because I just didn't use as much yellow as I should have if I wanted to make it a lighter orange, but I kind of like the red orange. I'm gonna put that right next to my uh, purplish, pinkish color and sort of keep those bright colors next to each other. And see how I'm just being careful, staying inside of that those shapes and i'm thinking about my colors but i'm also going to have some fun mixing my colors and i'm just going to keep going till i fill the whole area with color i don't want any white paper to show i want you guys to just have fun mixing colors if you find a color you like like i said use it in lots of places just don't use it right next to each other because we want to sort of have that separation of those shapes so have lots of fun painting make sure you're taking good care washing and drying the brush being very careful with the bristles so that when you wipe it on the paper towel we're not smushing it in there but we are gently pulling it through like that all right have a lot of fun guys those of you at home send me some pictures